This app is called uh, Thunderbolt, and in this song, um, with a Tesla coil, uh, we made like real lightning, which plays the bass line in the song. But in the app, you can uh, touch a lightning and, and change the range of the arpeggio, have it either like uh, wider or deeper or faster and slower. And so, yeah, so I guess in this app, you can be your own uh, bass player playing a lightning for uh, one song. Let's take a look at Thunderbolt. So we zoom into Thunderbolt by touching its constellation and then the Thunderbolt star, and then we start this app. Now this app is probably the most minimal and mysterious because it begins just with a completely black screen. So as soon as you start touching Thunderbolt, you get these sparks. So if you click with one finger and drag, it's a kind of lightning drawing program. Now, the musical element of Tesla is done by putting down more than one finger at once. So if you put down two fingers, you start to get a single note if they're very close to each other. And as you spread your fingers apart, you start to get more than one note. Now, when you move this left and right, you're changing the range of the notes from high to low. And when you move this up or down, you change the tempo. And if you go really low, it goes much slower. So if you put down three fingers, now you can make an arpeggio of that's not sequential. So like a lot of the apps in Biophilia, at the same time as you're creating music inside of the iPad, it's also transmitting MIDI information over wireless. If you have a MIDI instrument or a garage band, you can pick up the MIDI signals and then use it to drive any kind of music you like. If you're really an expert and you get into this app, you can go in here in the, in the menu by touching the compass and you can change the amount of time that it takes lightning to fade. So if you really want to make an elaborate lightning drawing, you might want to make that really, really long. And you can also change the drawing length. And then you can make very, very elaborate drawings. So we can always hit this compass menu. And if we want to go back and use another app, we return to the Thunderbolt page. We could explore any of its features. Or we can go back to the Galaxy to try another app.